Ladies and gentlemen, we present the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of the free and the Hello, I am Kevin Carman, Executive Vice President and Provost and your Master of Ceremonies for today. As we commence this ceremony in Reno, Nevada, we acknowledge that the University of Nevada, Reno is situated on the traditional homelands of the Nama, Northern Paiute, Washu, Washo, Noa, Western Shoshone, and Nuavi, Southern Paiute peoples. These lands continue to be a gathering place for indigenous peoples, and we recognize their deep connections to these places. It is now my pleasure to start today's ceremony by welcoming the president of the University of Nevada, Reno, Dr. Mark Johnson. Class of 2020, it's my honor to be with you today as we celebrate your spring commencement. Last spring would have been the university's 130th commencement. Let's attach that number to today's celebration because all of the members of the class of 2020 belong to our university's long and proud history. Your accomplishments, particularly since they were attained during a historic pandemic, are worth celebrating and remembering. First, let's offer thanks to some important people. All of the family members and friends who have provided love, support, and encouragement the faculty and staff of the university who have been there for you. Their work is essential to all of us, teaching our highest potential. Usually, during my commencement remarks, I pause for, for this moment and ask for applause for every, all of the audience, for these wonderful people. So today, let's do that. Class of 2020, please join me in applauding your family, your friends, and faculty and staff who have helped you along the way. This spring of 2020 was an uncertain time. By mid-March, COVID-19 was in Northern Nevada. You left campus for spring break, then we asked you not to come back to campus. Instruction pivoted to online delivery. The vast majority of university faculty and staff provided services remotely. You spent your final weeks on Zoom you delivered your assignments, tests, and finals electronically. We've long touted learning by doing at the university, but social distance became a part of our university vocabulary instead. But here's why we are so proud of you. You made these modifications. You forged ahead. You persevered. You succeeded. Even if you were in a Zoom room, peering at the faces of your fellow students in those little boxes, and unlike your elders who can't seem to ever master the unmute button, you quickly became fluent in online learning. You let us know that even though you were learning remotely, you still craved the interaction and engagement that has become one of the hallmarks of an education at the university. You demonstrated the resiliency and adaptability that we've always known resided in each of you. Our faculty and staff were exceptional as well. They too had to adapt very quickly. You did not let the COVID-19 pandemic stop you. 
Although the world seems uncertain now, there is an equal amount of optimism and hope that is available to us all. First, I believe you are well prepared to face a world that is forever changed. Since coming to our university, you've become engaged citizens, the citizens you pledged to be when you recited the Nevada Oath during your new student welcoming ceremony four years ago. You've completed your academic objectives during one of the most uncertain and challenging moments the world has ever faced. Now, you're University of Nevada Reno graduates. Now you possess the confidence to press ahead. Second, as the COVID crisis subsides, I hope you have the opportunity to reflect on your views regarding the importance of science and the importance of public health. I hope you're able to draw important lessons that will help guide your future. We often define ourselves by who we hope to be. The experiences that you've had since last spring are helping you bring into clear focus the person that you are. Specifically, how your actions have helped the community of which you are a part. We've come to find out that we live not just for ourselves, we live for everyone. COVID has reaffirmed how important it is to remain informed and well-versed in matters such as public health, science, and the discernment of information. Stephen Hawking once told his children to remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. This has to be a moment like that for all of us. If humanity is to continue to thrive, we must look up instead of down. To this end, remember, keep an open mind, seek knowledge, value education, champion the role of science in our lives, stay informed, live not only for yourself, but for others. One of the highest honors during my time as president occurred a few months ago when I was asked to deliver this welcome to all of you. Truly, I was moved beyond words when asked to share this celebration with you. We've been through a lot together. Throughout it all, I've admired your tenacity, your strength, your empathy, your ability to come together in times of challenge. Today, we come together in celebration. Class of 2020, members of one of the most memorable graduating classes, good luck with all that you do. Remember that no matter how far you travel in your lives, no matter where you are or what you do, your university will always be extremely proud of you. Congratulations again on this wonderful day. Thank you, President Johnson. Please welcome Anthony Martinez, our president of the Associated Students of the University of Nevada to give the student welcome. It's 2020, the perfect vision, at least it was supposed to be. We can see clearly that this generation is graduating into a pandemic and some financially difficult times. What is even worse than unemployment? They closed all of our favorite gathering spots. How could they? All jokes aside, I know we have taken this time to come together and to protect one another as a pack would. During your time here, you gained intelligence, culture, memories, and community, all of which will serve you as you will become a catalyst for the betterment of this world. Today is a celebration of the greatest accomplishment to come, such as attaining a college degree. Needless to say, you should be very proud of yourself, regardless of the cards we have been dealt as a class. However, it is essential to acknowledge that none of us are self-made. This accomplishment was made possible by either family, friends, professors, and faculty that championed us in helping us create ourselves to be the change makers in the near future. The fact is, the world needs us now more than ever like an underdog. People expected us to fail during this time, but we will prevail in creating a joint vision for 2020, for the success of all, being there for the broken, but bold and still smiling in these grim times knowing that if serving is beneath you, leadership is beyond you. Class of 2020, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for your efforts to serve our pack and make a difference at the University of Nevada, Reno. I know that this might be disheartening or even scary for some of our Wolfpack community, but you are never alone. I leave you with a quote that I think many of you might resonate with during this time of struggle and unknown. 
throw me to the wolves, and I'll return leading the pack. Congratulations, class of 2020. I cannot wait to see how you will better this world. Thank you, Anthony. Please welcome Tamara Gwynn, president of the Graduate Student Association of the University of Nevada. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now is the time to celebrate and commemorate your extraordinary achievement. Many of us are told when we begin our journey into college and higher education that it will not be easy. It will challenge you in ways you never imagined possible, and along your journey, you will not just learn to become a subject matter expert in a chosen field, but you will learn a great deal about yourself. The path to a college degree is filled with barriers and obstacles that not only challenge us intellectually, but they challenge our perseverance and our determination in nearly every possible way. Graduation represents the end of this arduous journey. Your individual persistence and dedication to earning your college degree has been recognized and rewarded. While we are unable to celebrate in a traditional commencement ceremony, please remember to take pause and celebrate this momentous accomplishment with friends and loved ones. Whether this graduation represents the end of your college education and you are entering the workforce, or you will be continuing your journey in higher education, take time to celebrate and perhaps reflect on your journey thus far. Hopefully you will look back on your time at UNR with great pride and a sense of accomplishment, remembering that although you have graduated, UNR remains your alma mater and as an alumni, you are always a part of the pack. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Thank you, Tamara. The HERS Medal, the University of Nevada, Reno's oldest and most prestigious student award, was originally established in 1910 by brothers Richard, Carl, and Otto HERS. For 100 years, it was presented by the HERS family at each commencement ceremony to the graduating senior with the highest level of academic achievement. In 2011, the University of Nevada, Reno Foundation wished to continue the tradition of recognizing our top scholars established by the HERS family. The Thelma B. and Thomas P. Hart Foundation are generously funding this prestigious award. We are excited to welcome this year's recipient to this elite group of scholars. Our 2020 HERS Gold Medalist is Tyler Harris. Tyler is graduating with a dual major in accounting and political science and a minor in philosophy with a 4.0 grade point average. In the spring semester, Harris had the opportunity to participate in the Reno Volunteer Income Assistance, or VITA, program which recruits accounting students from the university to provide free tax preparation services to low-income members of the community. His professional interests include tax law and policy, and so he hopes to combine these backgrounds in order to become an expert in taxation. After graduation, Harris plans on pursuing both his CPA license and a degree in law. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 HERS gold medalist, Tyler Harris. Today we present an award that shines important attention and recognition to one of the fundamental pillars of what we do as an institution, teaching. The Paul and Judy Bible University Teaching Excellence Award recognizes and rewards outstanding teaching by faculty at our university. It is a highly competitive award and it carries the names of two of our most distinguished graduates, Paul and Judy Bible, whose lifelong contributions to our institution and support of education have helped the university produce student leaders in all of our academic fields. This year's winner is Dr. Anne-Marie Volstead. Dr. Volstead joined the university as a lecturer in 2013. She completed her master's in curriculum teaching and learning and a PhD in mechanical engineering, both at the University of Nevada, Reno. Dr. Volstead primarily teaches courses in engineering design, statics, and computer methods. Her research focuses on engineering education. Through the introductory engineering course, Engineering 100, and statics course, Engineering 241, each year Volstead helps a thousand students reach their full potential in the classroom. But in her words, teaching is not done just in the classroom. It's helping students outside of the class because students have so much going on in their lives. It's important to be there for them. Last year, Volstead won the F. Donald Tibbetts Distinguished Teacher Award, and this year, she earned the Paul and Judy Bible Teaching Excellence Award. On behalf of the university, thank you, Dr. Volstead, for the tremendous teaching you've done, which has benefited all of your students and prepared them well for their professional lives. <laughs>